Now, he says his autobiography will be published only when he's dead to avoid any legal difficulties. And Jimmy Page must have some stories to tell. Led Zeppelin were one of the biggest selling and most excessive rock bands of all time. And Page has been busy remastering their albums. The next one is perhaps their most celebrated, Physical Graffiti, and features on countless lists of the best albums of all time. At 71, Jimmy Page still intends to tour again, with or without the surviving members of Led Zepp, saying he's getting match fit. I met him near his West London home. Jimmy Page. Jimmy Page. Jimmy Page's guitar was every bit as iconic as Robert Plant's extraordinary voice. Together, they took Led Zeppelin to the soaring heights of rock and roll history. But Page wasn't just a guitarist, he was the band's producer. And now that vinyl and CD have given way to the compressed sound of iTunes and Spotify, he wants fans to hear a better sound. Hence, digital remastering. There's a lady shoe, all the glitters is gold. The whole object of the exercise was to give, uh, to give the best quality that you could possibly have out there in all these different formats, because the the the, the Led Zeppelin music on MP3 was starting to become uh, very very annoying for me to listen to because it almost sounded like it had been remixed. Can I take you way back to the beginning, if you like, the beginning of the guitar for you that you basically found a guitar? In, in the house where you lived, is well, that right? Well, yes, that's, that's how it is. A guitar makes a sort of intervention, if you like. Um, and, and, and it's sort of there. And it's got all the strings on it, which is unusual. But I didn't know how to go about it until somebody actually showed me how to tune it up and showed me some chords. How old were you? I, I probably was about 12. But you were musical already, weren't you? Because you were a choir boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be, I was a choir boy around the time that I was playing guitar. So the two things so, went together, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. In America, they, they talk, you know, a lot of the black musicians said that it came from church. I don't know whether I could really say that, that it came from church. Jimmy Page, what is a session guitarist? There's a great interview I've seen of you, I think when you were about 19 or so, when you were playing session music yeah um, it doesn't work for the thing that really strikes me is, it, is this the one from yeah. channel TV yeah okay let's explain that shall we that that was uh, the thing about that was like it's pre it's a pre-runner of uh, Monty Python and I'm just answering the questions in a very very light-hearted jovial way so it's, it's quite surreal so the answers are surreal now you can ask me the question so you now you've got it? the picture yeah, of what no, it I was so I'm really Taking the Mickey. Well, out that's of the funny because I, I thought it was a, it was an amazingly, brutally honest moment in interview yeah. because because well, it probably was. was. What is it like working with some of the really big names of show business? Disappointing. Why is that? Well, they don't come up to how you expect them to be. Rather disappointing on the whole, I would say. So was it? So I've got a wicked sense show? of humour. So there you go. So did, so do you mean you didn't mean that or? I did when was I was, it? how old was I, 17 or something? Yeah, I meant every word of it when I was 17. <laughs> <laughs> you just assume that it, is it even going to be aired, let alone is it going to resurface? Now I'd be far more guarded, like this interview. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But you've got the picture anyway. So. By the time you get to Physical Graffiti, yeah. this is... Um, this is an album that pops up on yeah. so many best albums of all time lists. Yeah. It's a very musically accomplished yeah. piece of work. If you take Kashmir, what do you want people to get from that? It was, for, it was a groundbreaking piece at the time. What happens with Kashmir is it's something that, 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 that becomes quite a, like, quite a sort of industry standard, if you like. It's something that people definitely changed the sort of music that was going to come after that. It was pretty radical for the time. In the decadent world of 70s sex, drugs and rock and roll, Led Zeppelin's excesses are the stuff of legend. Sadly, Jimmy Page determinedly refuses to discuss it, as long as he's alive. You've done a book of pictures of your life. Yeah. You once said, you know, you didn't think you'd do a proper autobiography. Um, yeah. 
uh, partly no, because people would sue. And I just wondered what no, you meant by that. Or no, I didn't say that. I said what I would what I would do is do a book to be released or published posthumously. That's what I said. Why? And I said that for good reason because I'd like to. I wouldn't just want to get caught up in legal wranglings. I just want to be able to do a book, say what it was, and then let it be released. That's all. So I mean, I don't want to get bogged down in any details of. Do you know unpleasantness or whatever? I just want like to tell the real story. Jimmy Page, were you a Led Zeppelin? Pink Floyd first, Led Zeppelin second. 